Good morning, everyone. This is David Jamison coming to you live from ProPride Industries, the home of the 3P ProPride Hitch that you can find at ProPrideHitch.com. You would think that you could find it there, wouldn't you, Lazar? You know, I've been spending the morning in this room with Lazar, and if you can see me <laughs> moving forward and back, you would not believe what this education system can provide here in the United States. But nonetheless, we're going to get going. We're, we're going to skip the first video that we usually play because we got a lot of stuff to go over. It's pretty serious. We are starting a new segment this week called Tech Talk with Brent, the illustrious Brent who knows everything there is to know about no sway 3P pivot point projection hitches, or as some call a fifth wheel conversion kit. Think about it. It converts a travel trailer to the same dynamics as a fifth wheel because it displaces, what would you call it, the, the pivot point to the back axle. And that's where the hitch is on a, on a fifth wheel, isn't it? So to get going here, of course, we're going to start with announcements. Don't forget that if you like, share, and comment, you get an entry into our $2,000 raffle, and you guys are going to love what I have to show you, what we will be giving up this raffle that will be held on July 9. You're gonna, it's going to be, as I commonly use the word, humdinger. You're going to love it. So don't forget, you get two if you share in a group. See, Lazar liked the word humdinger right there. I think it's new to him. So you're gonna, you get two entries in the, if you share into a group, and you'll see on that, that one page. Oh, see, there he is, jumping the gun. I didn't even get to that yet. We got 0% financing still. It's, it never ends. He's good for Lazar or Weather by Lazar. Don't forget about that. And that's going to be a good episode this or a good segment today. So don't forget, we still have 0% financing for 18 months. And that means you pay no interest. You get 18 months of equal payments to pay the 3P price rather than one large payment. But I would, as Brent will can attest, he's here on the set right now, they are going fast. So you need to get your orders in. And that takes us to the one that Lazar was trying to sneak to you. We now have a way to get five entries. So all of you out there that are vloggers, you're in the RV industry, you are in the outdoor industry, you have a hitch business, you're an influencer, anything that has to do with something where someone may want the 3P, you send in, wait, I'm kind of experienced. Uh, you know what, I get, that's, that's on me. That's totally on me right there. Um, let me back up. <laughs> I gave away the, the secret, didn't oh, I? The sponsor yeah, yeah, the sponsorship. Okay. We're, we're gonna be working on sponsorship. To get five entries into the raffle, all you have to do is send a one to two minute in length video. Share your experience about the 3P, uh, you could tell us why you love it. You can talk about install. You could talk about hitching and unhitching. Any tips you'd like to share, anything at all. And as, as we all know, Lazar loves to receive emails. You just send the video to him. We will use it. Make sure you just say, here you go. This is for you. Give us permission to use it. And you'll get five entries into the next raffle. And what you, believe me, you're going to want to do this when you see what we are going to be giving up for the raffle. And that takes us to the new raffle information. Check that out, guys. Mr. Ronnie Dennis of Airstream Nuts and Bolts has a, what would you call this, Lazar? A uh, sol RV solar panel kit. An RV solar panel kit. Can everyone hear Lazar okay? Yep. He, he articulated with his hand, so if you couldn't see that part, but he did kind of like, like, a, like he was a mobster there. Thing. He went an RV solar panel kit. So that has something to do with that. But anyway, it's a $1,200 retail value. It can be personally installed. We will have the $500 new hitches. What do we call them? V2s. We will have a hat. We will have the 3P cover kit and a lot bar. And that's over $2,000. That will be drawn on July 9th. But this solar panel kit is pretty darn neat. If you want more information on it, again, Email Lazar, he'll tell you all about it. So that takes us now to the thing I kind of spilled the beans on earlier. We have another thing. If you noticed, another option for all of you, I should say, Mr. Ronnie Dennis, you see how we are promoting him? We are going to allow that for all of our ProPride family uh, within reason. If there's hundreds, we may have a difficult time, but we can rotate weekly. But if you would like ProPride TV sponsorship, 
and you're in the RV industry, camping industry, hitch industry, anything that you can do outdoors where someone may want a pro pride hitch, you let us know. If you're an influencer, let's say on, uh, what's that called, YouTube, anything like that where you're drawing traffic, we will work out something where we can promote you, we can promote your product, we may even be able to sell your product for you on ProPrideHitch.com, but in return, we will give you information where you can share information with your people about the Pro Pride Hitch, the 3P. And did I, and one thing, oh yeah, Lazar told me I should do this. Look at the numbers. So this is just a typical week. We have over 6,000 views. It's something worthwhile for all of you if you are in that industry and you'd like to work with us. We love to work with the Pro Pride family. Is there anything I'm missing there, Lazar? Anything you need no, to add yeah. in? Covered it all. Covered it all. And wait till you hear the joke today. It's, it's going to be a real good one. So that takes us now to the review. And after the review, we will have Tech Talk with Brent. But the review is a very nice one by Mac Strider. And there he is, the handsome Mac up there in the left-hand corner. And he's got a picture of his, did we put that, is that Mac's hitch or is that our, ours? Oh, oh it's a our. standard, it's our picture. But Mac, nonetheless, a month ago said, the hitch is more than I expected. If there is a way to purchase peace of mind, this is it. Would buy it again. Best customer service there is hand down. It's a five-star Google rating. And speaking of customer service, five-star rating, that's Brent McDowell, and he will be on shortly. In fact, we can even announce him right now. Let's put that up on the screen, and let's give him a little cheer. Tech Talk with Brent. Come on, Brent. Oh, he's bringing No, we're going to do that after. See, Brent, Brent's excited about weather by Lazar, too. He is. So Brent is going to talk to you. Go ahead, Brent. I got props today, too. So. Yeah, it's, it's kind of <laughs> like he's a lot like Mr. Rogers. So here we go. <laughs> How's it going today, everybody? All right, so I'm going to talk about two things today. Um, we're going to do one that's real quick and easy uh, first because we get a lot of calls about this. And I just want to make sure everybody understands exactly um, what you do or what you don't need to do. Um, but on here, on the, on the booklet actually here, we've got, it says on level ground to take the measurements and stuff. It doesn't mean your install has to be on level ground per se. Um, it could absolutely be on a hill. It could be in a grassy knoll. It could be on gravel. Grassy knoll, I like that. Yeah, oh, right. I knew you'd like that. So, um, but it could be anywhere basically. Could it be on tundra? It could be on tundra. With a Tundra, a Toyota Tundra. So anyhow, you've got to, you don't have to necessarily do your install like on flat, flat ground, right? You can just basically get where you, where you need to have it and then uh, just get your basic measurements um, on flat ground. Meaning like uh, your truck and your trailer, even before you get your hitch, you can plan and prep for that stuff and get those numbers and then you can install it really wherever you need to install it at. Cool? So that's that. So basically what he's saying is that don't fret about the levelness and the terra firma. That's exactly right. Yeah, so all terra you need firma. to do is just install it. Install it. And yeah. like the old saying is, motion is better than meditation. Get it going, right? Absolutely. Okay, so now we're going to talk about, well, I'll let him tell you. Right. Then, then we get, it's, it'll be weather by Lazar. I know yeah. we're getting lots of comments, and I know you guys are wondering what the weather's like here today. Right. So, yeah, I kind of have some pre-weather, but it's just, it's not the same, let me tell you. It's just not even close to the same. the same. So V2 jacks, um, we've got a lot of, uh, well, they're obviously trickling out. And uh, an old update on the shipping of those things. Guys, we are like working, literally working overtime to try and get these things produced. But just have some patience with us. We're going to try and get those out, uh, hopefully this month and trickling into a little bit of the next. We've got lots of orders for them, obviously, which is great, but uh, we just, work with us, uh, please, 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 please. Um, the uh, second piece is going to be uh, the jack install. So um, let, me, let me just comment one thing. What Brent's saying in a very polite way is that we are working our tails off to produce the hitch and the jacks at the same time. And since I'm the crazy finance guy, there we go. I'm the guy in charge of capital equipment acquisition. We have more robots, robotic welders on order. We are working at this. Just bear with us during this growth period. And this is the guy that takes all the heat. So I'm kind of saying, go easy on him. It's Brett McDowell, little C, big D. I promise you, he does a great job, but let's go easy on him. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I appreciate that. But anyways, we're trying, we are, for sure. 
Um, so the jacks themselves. Um, do you have my little picture, possibly? Absolutely. He wants a picture of his little jack. I do. <laughs> Wait, no, the little picture of his jack. With my foot. Let's you, see if we can yeah, find right it here. With his foot. Jackfoot. There we go. We, if we named it Jackfoot, the name of this picture. So I've got some here. They're not installed on here. I'm going to try and lift it up so you can see. Is that good? I think it is. I think you can still hear me. So hear this me. dude mm -hmm. here, oh, we'll do it right there. So this dude, um, sometimes will flip up like this, right? You guys can see. If that's the case, I've got a picture there that Lazar's going to throw up for us. Step on your spring bar, yeah, just flatten yeah. that thing back out, just like this, right? See how that's straight? That'll change that pitch of your main to where it needs to be. Um, but just do that. If you guys have a problem with hitching up or anything, push that thing down. That's going to help you out dramatically. The other thing I want to focus on is this. These guys have got to be facing outward. So we'll see. Like this sitting on your frame. These bolts have to be facing outward, not inward. If you face them inward, they're going to uh, collide with the jack. So make sure these bolts are facing outward when you install these. It's in the manual. We pictured it twice. But we still had some questions about that. So I want to make sure everybody sees that. And it's good. Wes did a video on that. We'll try and link that here uh, in, the, in the bio or whatever we call it now uh, for later on so you guys can see it. And man, I think that's it for me. I just wanted to go over those few couple things. We're going to try and, as we get the set integrated too, um, we'll try and do some more interactive things with video and some exciting stuff that way. Um, but we have an integrative um, jam board where we're going to figure out where you may even be able to log in. Brent could give a talk and it would what you could actually upload it to your computer. So you'd actually be able to take down the segment in the talk and have his diagram. So we'll be able to write on it with the sets right over here. But the lighting wasn't all that great last week. So we decided to do this. But believe me, we're working on the lighting. And that's why I saved questions for now, because I figured after we have Mr. Brent up. <coughs> Any questions there, Lazar? Uh, nothing on the jacks. Uh, Keith Howell did ask, um, when will the purchase options and discounts be available for Canadian clients? Um, that's, that's, crazy, that's for that's crazy finance guy question there. That, that kind of consumer lending is governed not only by state, but if you can imagine if we have to deal with people, I think it's Iowa and Idaho, there's some some states out that way that have a difficult time with consumer lending, is it both of them? I think I, Iowa, for sure. Iowa for sure. If you can imagine what it's like to get Canadian financing, the only way we would be able to do, be able to do it is if a Canadian finance company were to buy the paper from us. So we haven't delved into that because I think it's probably what percentage of business it's getting, more. it's getting more and more. We so maybe so sure. we have we absolutely do. And I love poutine. It's uh, <laughs> if you ever had it, <laughs> it's French. I'm OK, sure OK, guys. Yeah. Wait, he, yeah, he's not sure if he has poutine is actually French fries with gravy and cheese. Curd. I have had that. And it is fantastic. It's fantastic. But we um, I was going to ask a question. So with the Canadian customers and I'll have the talk about poutine threw me off. It is a very good food. Um, so any other questions for Brent? Oh. Uh, Brent, what Can about... Can they hear Lazar okay? Can you guys hear it okay? Okay. Uh, what about veterans discount? Yeah, absolutely. Um, contact us. We definitely do. We appreciate you guys absolutely. And uh, give us a call and I can get you set up. Most definitely we do. I, I see those go across the financials, and I know they're they're every day. People yep. order every day, and even um, don't. I think we have other other ones too. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Give us a call, um, and we'll take care of you. Awesome. Absolutely. Excellent. Anything else? That's it. So I know Brent's got to go uh, get back to business and handle basically the incoming calls, the service, and one of these days we'll bring on his protege, Mr. Alex. What's Alex's last name again? No. Miller. He does not look like a Miller. He looks he looks almost like a Coors Light or a yeah, oh, yeah. Light, Brent said. But anyway, let's give a round of applause for Mr. Brett McDowell. And it's Brent, not Brett. So thank you again. <laughs> thank you again, the crazy finance guy. Wait, that could have got a rim shot too, didn't it? Oh, I got you guys. Yeah. You got one on yeah. there? Okay, so there was a rim shot. So now, guess what, people? It, weather is changing around here, and it's time for Weather by Lazar. we got to move down just a little bit. So, you get, <laughs> so as you can see, people, 
It is warm out, sun's out, guns <laughs> out, Catch weather. Brent. <laughs> What's that? Catch Brent. Catch, oh, Brent. They'll get Brent. <laughs> yeah, sun's out, guns out. But anyway, anyway, it is warm and sunny. Weather by Lazar will tell you. He's, he's kind of like a, what's that little thing that predicts the weather? Uh. Isn't there that little, <laughs> little thing that bobs in the water, doesn't there? Or what is it? No, a weather, what am I thinking of? The weather dial? Yeah, one of those. Uh, like a barometer. Like our grandma used to hang on the wall. It would predict the weather. That's what it's like here, having him. Watch me walk through <laughs> and, the door at 9 a.m. Watch him what? Just watch me walk through the door at 9 a.m. Watch him walk through the door and we know what's going on. And don't forget, <laughs> there's his email address has been broadcast on here a couple times. Send him emails, really. He likes it. He likes it. Plus, we like the, that's time to, I'll get to the joke in a second, but that's a good reminder for the new raffle that we are having the solar panels provided by Mr. Ronnie Dennis from Airstream Nuts and Bolts. You now have the ability to get five entries by submitting a two minute or less video talking about your experience and your absolute love for the 3P hitch. You can also work with us in a sponsorship type arrangement where we will promote your channel, your business, maybe even your products, and then we will give you stuff to put on yours. It's scratch your back, we scratch, wait, scratch each other's back. Speaking of backs, why don't you turn around, let's get one more, turn around, Turn around now. Turn around and give him a back flex. I can't. No. <laughs> See, there we go. So that great. How am I? The, that's weathered by Lazar. But it, nonetheless, we have a good time here at Pro Pride. So that leads me to dad jokes, or we're going to have a, we need a pop-up for that. Bad jokes by Dave. And this week, I'm an Irish guy. Jameson, J-A-M-E-S-O-N is my last name. So I have the right to tell Irish jokes. I played rugby for 20 years and I refereed for 10. So I was around a lot of people from Europe, Southern Hemisphere. I don't know why they pick on the Irish, but Irish jokes are funny. So two Irishmen, Patty and Mick, are walking down the streets, of walking down a street in Dublin, and Patty says to Mick, he says, you know what, Mick, I'm thinking about getting a Labrador Retriever. And Mick says, Patty, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Do you ever see how many of their owners go blind? So there you have it. That's a good, Brent, Brent, I wish we could turn around right there, but, Brent, but he gave us a big smile on that, but his arms are crossed, so it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a back and forth. Oh, it is late. Now he's in tree pose, a yoga tree pose. So that's it. Have we missed anything? Any questions? Brent um, still is in the room. Jim Ferguson just said this is the best, best hitch ever. Jim Ferguson said this is the best hitch ever, and last week's uh, raffle winner was on. Leland Kinebaum. Leland Kinebaum. See, see, he has a good memory. Actually, he was looking at it's it. I think. It's an education system. Ed educational system right here at its best. If anyone ever questions the, the American educational system, look to the Lazar. We got it. He's got it nailed. But anyway, I am going to sign off now. This is David Jamison at ProPride Industries, the home of the 3P ProPride Hitch, and I will see you next week whether you like it or not. Hey, Brent here with ProPride Industries. Let's see if we got it lined up. So he's got a camera, so you can probably do a pretty darn good job. We've got our install complete here. We're all hitched up and we're ready to take off. Beautiful. I'm going to take you for a little bit of a ride.